Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on to Lacey's hands so you can see how she's holding the spinner and how she's working with it. With the screwball, you'll notice that she's holding the spinner flat towards the catcher. She's gripping the spinner with her fingertips and her thumb on top as she snaps her wrist, turning it in a clockwise motion as it comes to the catcher. The motion is like opening a door, turning the knob and extending your arm and pushing the door open. Now with the curveball, you'll notice that the spinner is flat. Her hand is underneath the spinner. Her fingertips are gripping the bottom side of the spinner in the back. She is snapping her wrist to create a spin in a right to left motion. This is so the spinner will come to the catcher moving from the inside of the plate to the outside of the plate on a right-handed batter. With the rise ball, you'll notice that her hand is on the back side of the spinner. She is gripping the spinner with her fingertips and her thumb on the front edge of the spinner. As she snaps her wrist, she is spinning it around the back side from the top to the bottom of the spinner. This causes air underneath the spinner to move it up as it comes towards the catcher. On the drop ball, her hands are in a very similar position to the rise ball. She is gripping the spinner with her fingertips underneath and her thumb is on the top of the spinner. As she snaps her wrist over the top, putting a downward spin on the spinner as it goes to the catcher.